Right? And parents and friends and grandparents, thank you so much for coming out to support this event. Uh, it means a lot to the kids, but it means a lot to everybody else too, so give yourselves a round of applause. All right, so my job mostly today is to help us get to the point where we see our beloved teachers covered in something other than what they want to be covered in. So that's our goal today. And the format for today is a game show style format. So, um, I guess we can start with the first question. Yep, we have these guests, you want to yep. introduce the participants? So, the participants, uh, don't have the first team. Okay, the first team is going to be Gilbert and Mrs. King. Okay, the first team is going to be Mrs. Gilbert and Mrs. King. And the second team is... Mr. Kane and Miss Baber. <laughs> the next is Mrs. D and Mrs. Segesta. All right, so we're going to do a quick one here. We want to see who you're rooting for. So I'm just going to go A, B, and C, all right? So all the way to my, well, your all's left. I want you to cheer if you want them to win. Okay, as loud as you possibly can. So start with A. That's pretty good. I like it. How about B? A lot more left side love there. And C. All right, so. What we're going to be doing, uh, where are the whiteboards? Okay, you got whiteboards in front of you. Ah, uh, Mr. King. Oh, okay. Mrs. Baber already has it. Okay, so we're going to ask a question, and each of the teams is going to come up with the answer that they think is closest or accurate. And then once everybody's written down their answers, we're going to figure out who might have won. So, the first question is. According to the fire marshal, what is the maximum capacity of our whole school? According to the fire marshal, what is the maximum capacity of our whole school? All right, we need a we need one of those TikTok things. Yeah, that makes the. Ding, 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 ding. We do need TikTok. We do need. All right, answers. Answers are locked. Oh, we can read from this. Hang on. All right, so let's see what we got. We got 200. We've got 275 and 180. Now, boys and girls, do you think that it's more than 200? If so, scream. Do you think it's less than 200? <laughs> about even. About even. How about two? Yeah, it's 75, right? 275. <laughs> how about 180? You think it's more? More? Is it more? <laughs> All right. So I guess we're doing uh, closest without going over. No, they have to. Oh, oh. Well, they have to get the answer. Well, they're boys and girls. You're in luck. The actual answer is 808 oh my goodness. is the maximum capacity wow. for CLS throughout the whole building. That's shocking, but that's the number. So, no one had that one right. So, I will let uh, Mrs. Glansberg proceed with the first... Oh, no. <laughs> so this is, if you notice at their feet, we have these lovely pie pans with a giant blob of whipped cream. So the question is, who goes first? That's what I want to see. Who goes first? A, B, C. Okay. All right. Since everybody had it wrong, so Mrs. Baber is going to treat Mr. Kane. Oh! <laughs> Now, does Mr. Kane get the option? No, it's the principal and the lead teacher, so we're getting Oh, principal and lead teacher, okay. All right. Well, Mrs. King, do your worst. Yeah! <laughs> 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 that was pretty good. 
can do it. Well done, Mrs. K. All right, Mrs. Sebastian. You got a lot to live up to here. Mrs. D, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, that was so gentle. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That was the nicest pie in the face I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, so while they're getting reset, grab your uh, grab your white boards, and we'll be on to question two. So this question, all right, boys and girls, listen, listen. All right, teams, are we ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Which two staff members at CLS were born in Japan? Which two staff members of CLS were born in Japan? <laughs> This is to guess him and say, well, I know it wasn't me. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Does anyone know the teacher that was born in Japan? You got to whisper, though. We don't want to give it away. Uh oh. I heard, I heard one right answer. <laughs> yeah, I know you know. All right. Any staff member. Any staff member. CLS employees. That's right. Even Mr. Ezra. Were you born in Japan, Mr. Ezra? Uh oh. Oh, he says shh. <laughs> All right. I see them writing. I think we might have answers. Let's see. I'm just pretty amazed that some of the kids knew this answer. Ah, okay. I heard, I heard two good answers out there. All right. If, I think, are we ready? All right, Team A. Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Rose. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. All right, Mrs. K. Mrs. Rose and Mrs. Lentz. Also 0 for 2. Mrs. Rose and Mrs. Lynch. I, maybe there was some coffee. Okay. No, the answer. <laughs> the answer is Mrs. Glansburg and Mrs. Dean. Both from Japan. Yes, he did. He did. Okay, so this one's fun. This one involves a giant bucket of jello. I have to wonder, where do you think that giant bucket of jello is going to go, boys and girls? Down there, sir. Well, it might, but where do you think it might start? On their head. That's right. This is Glansburg. Okay, you each have a pail. All right, Team A, go for it. Oh. <laughs> He only had a couple that stuck. That was pretty good, Mr. Kane. You fared well. All right, Team B. Oh! Hey, you kind of got off easy on that one. That's a good Team C. Yeah! I think Mrs. D got the worst of that one. All right. Well, well, yeah, you do have to answer better, and then you don't get covered in this stuff. All right, question number three. We have our whiteboards ready to go. Oh, Mrs. King's head to hers. All right, so question number three. The, this is a this is a math problem, Mr. Kane. So this one's right up your alley. The number of years Mrs. D has been at CLS minus the number of eighth graders plus the number of swings on our playground equals, so I'll read that again, the number of years Mrs. D has been at CLS minus the number of eighth graders plus the number of swings on our playground equals. This year does count. All 
right. Does, does anyone happen to know how long Mrs. D has been here? No? Okay. Higher than that, believe it or not. Yeah. A little higher. <coughs> You're getting close. 232, goodness. You look fantastic, Mrs. D. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We've got answers. Let's go ahead. 23. That is a correct answer. Wow. Middle school team nailed it. 23 for Team B. And all three, all three won. So wow. you actually are lucky because you missed you missed the easiest of the challenges. So boys and girls, they miss the sprinkles. Or are we still doing it just for fun? Oh, we're gonna add it to the next one. I like it. I love that idea. Okay, good job, teams. Next question: How many total pets do the CLS elementary school teachers have? How many total pets do the CLS elementary school teachers have? You have five cats. I have five cats. Eight billion. I'd say Team C has the advantage on this, although Team B's got a little, little in the mix there. All right, boys and girls. Of all the pets you have at home, who has more than two pets? Raise your hand. Who has more than three? More than three pets at home? Easily. More than four? Yes. More than nine? Well, wait, farm animals don't count because they're technically not, not pets. I have five. Thirteen? Wow. That's a lot of pets. You have a lot of goldfish. Snails? Yeah, snails is pets. Alright, that's new. Cats? Five cats! Right. Five cats! You have five cats to hear? Yep. That's a lot of pets. Well, let's see if we can find out how many the elementary school teachers have. Are you ready? We're ready. Okay, 17 for Team A. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. Five is the accurate answer. Oh, she's still writing. <laughs> you can't take the win now. I'm sorry. <laughs> you write whatever you want. What were you going to write before? Okay, we got two fives and, and one seventeen. I have to ask, Miss Favor, how'd you get to 17? Ah, okay. She's down to two. See, you weren't updated. All right. So this is um, one team that will be enjoying a whipped cream pie. Oh, we're doing chocolate syrup this round. Okay. Sprinkles it is. Okay, sprinkles for Mr. Kane. Here we go. Rainbow sprinkles. Hey! Oh, that was that, that was a little extra. That was the sprinkles on top of the sprinkles. <laughs> Good sport, Mr. Kane. Good sport. All right, moving on. The next question is: What staff member starred in a TV commercial at age 10? What staff member starred in a TV commercial at age 10? There is a star among us. Who might it be? Among us. One of, one of those that is part of this community. There's a TV star in her young years. Of his young years. This is How we doing? Mrs. Chambers already got the answer. Oh, <laughs> I thought she was protecting the women. All right. Is anyone here a TV star that we don't know about? YouTube doesn't count. On the radio. My dad's been on the radio now. He's been on the radio. Any TV stars down on that end? No TV stars. All right, teachers. Here we go. Starting with Team A. 
Mrs. Smith. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Mrs. King, Mrs. Howard. Again, sadly incorrect. And Team C says Mrs. Frick, which is correct. A great guess they didn't know, but they pulled through. Chocolate syrup! A and B. Chocolate okay. syrup! Well, you can go, you got syrup that's... Okay, pie and sprinkles, go for it. Why not? Pie on the head, on top of the head it looks like, and sprinkles. Pie on top of the head and sprinkles. Mrs. B, it's a good thing you, you won this one. <laughs> if you were going to pick one right. All right, here we go. Go ahead, Team A. Oh, the whipped cream hat. Oh, my goodness. And then sprinkles on. Wow, that was a lot of sprinkles. <laughs> that was a lot of sprinkles. All right, Mrs. King, go for it. Oh, it rubbed it in. Oh, that's, that's love. The slow pour. I like it. I like it. Wow. <laughs> Where's the bottom of that thing? Holy cow. That you need a picture of. That, for both of them, that is well done. <laughs> like human ice cream cones. All right. Well done, teams. Well done. Two more to go. On to our next. How many parking spaces are there in the front parking lot at CLS? How many parking spaces are there in the front parking lot at CLX? How many do you think? How many? Four? More than four. How many? Fifty! Fifty? All right, we're getting close. Forty-four. Good guess, good guess. Right, this front lot. Yeah. Yep, this whole front lot here. This could be a math problem if you know the dimensions on a parking space. <laughs> All right, we've got answers. This is a precise answer, so unless you know it, you're probably getting right either way. All right, Mrs. Baber, what you got? 82, very close, very close, but incorrect. 66, a little low. 72 is really close to the actual answer of 75. Very close, though. All right, all three teams are getting jello. Jello's in front of you. Go ahead. It's your choice where you choose to place this. Go ahead. You want to put it on the head or the shoulders, wherever you want. To. Toss it at them. Whatever you want to do. Down the shirt. Down the shirt. Down the shirt's been a big, uh, big part. All right. Well done, Mrs. Gilbert, Mrs. King. Look, Mrs. Segesman tried to give it to you. She tried. All right. Good job, good sports. We got the human ice cream cones down there with a little extra now. Looks like cherries on top of Mrs. Gilbert. All right, teams, grab your boards. Last question. I have confidence that everyone's going to get this one. Which two teachers previously studied law or criminal justice before coming to CLS? Which two teachers previously studied, studied law or criminal justice before coming to CLS? Any aspiring lawyers? All right. Why did you give me you should know this one. That's the call from the left. All right. We have our answers. Here we go. Team A, Mrs. Lintz, Mrs. King. That is correct. Team B, me and Mrs. Lintz, again correct. And Mrs. King, Mrs. Lintz. Everyone got it right. But for the 
go to the order, we still have one more messy thing to do. And boys and girls, you help me vote. If you don't think that they should do this next one, you just stay quiet. If you think they should do it, scream. Absolutely. I go with the kids. Go ahead. Chocolate syrup. It's dealer's choice on this one, ladies. <laughs> well, Mrs. Baber's looking for crown approval. Oh, oh. Use it all. I say use it all. Go for it. Alright, Mrs. King, your choice, your turn. I can't help you with this decision. Well, go higher toppings on the ice cream turn. I like it. Oh! It started off so well, Mrs. Gilbert. It was staying out of your face. <laughs> and not. <laughs> Alright, Mrs. Sagasimim. Let's see here, we're going with the back of the shirt strategy. She's painting a happy face. I like it, I like it. We're getting out, oh, all right, we're getting the whole coverage here. <laughs> well done, well done. Well, boys and girls, I think we want to, oh, let's turn around, see what all of our, our uh, <laughs> participants look like. All right, Mrs. Gilbert, Mr. Kane, you did pretty well in the back, Mr. Kane. Did pretty well. All right, boys and girls, let's give a huge round of applause and cheers for our participants. And participants, thank you for being such good sports. Another wonderful fun run, and I can't, I can't tell you enough how excited we are to have raised this amount of money, have such a gorgeous day for this morning. Hopefully, y'all had a great time. Yes.